When the largest divorce settlement in history made Mackenzie Bezos a multi-billionaire, a lot of people were surprised to hear that the richest couple in the world didn't have a prenuptial agreement. Half of all marriages end in divorce, but less than 5% of couples have a legal pre-marriage agreement. However, that's changing. Jimmy Rhodes is running down why folks are upping the prenups, and that's our featured story at the top of the list. You pop the question and the excitement begins. There's the dress, there's the cake, and then there's the prenup. It's not necessarily romantic, but it is important. Hey, you don't like thinking about death either, but family law expert Natalia Ter Gregorian says there are some documents you just ought to have in order. Think of it like a will for your marriage. An American Academy of Matrimonial Lawyers survey found that prenups are on the rise, thanks to who's getting married the most. Yep, millennials and it's about more than equitably dividing all that avocado toast. For starters, this generation grew up when marriage was a coin flip. So bringing up a document that has a 50% chance of being really useful just makes sense given the millennial experience. Millennials grew up in an environment where divorce was more socially acceptable. It was almost ubiquitous. We had Britney Spears' three-day marriage in the 90s. Which made her three-year marriage to Kevin Federline seem like an eternity. Things like that, I think, really normalize divorce. So divorce has a stigma among millennials and they tend to wait longer to get hitched. Couples who are getting married later in life have careers, there's an increase in two-income households, there's an increase in blended families, there's an increase in assets. So more is at stake in the event of a divorce. It's an opportunity for both parties to make decisions while they're still on good terms. Okay, you know that Amazon's Jeff Bezos and his ex-wife Mackenzie did not have a prenup, which brings up a point. It just might strike oil. People creating podcasts and creating other types of intellectual property. Hey, Bezos looked like a fantasy football geek and that garage startup became one of the world's most valuable companies, so. A premarital agreement is a way of characterizing that property so that it remains separate. And you can't bring up millennials without mentioning student loan debt, which a prenup can cover. Parties can agree that the party who is incurring student loans is responsible for paying those back. Finally, unless otherwise stated, courts treat animals like property, but to millennials, those are their fur babies. People do want essentially a parenting time agreement. So joint custody and visitation arrangements involving pets are getting more common. Millennials up and then up is at the top of the list.